All right, checking uh, some traps. I haven't been on this line in about four days. We got about an inch and a half of snow last night, so got a lot of the branches down on my trail that are overhanging. A little sled's getting full of snow. Got a Martin box right there. It was uh, sprung by a weasel trying to take the bait out, but he didn't get caught. Got a lynx cubby right over there. It's like some rabbit tracks around there. Lynx snare right here. I'm actually going to pull these. Uh, these two traps are the, the last ones on this line. It's a little inconvenient to come down this way and turn around. But it looks like we got another uh, another ermine over here. Caught one in this trap last week. Putting on Martin. It's pretty warm out today. It's actually above zero. It's probably like two or three uh, above zero. I think that's the first time in maybe two weeks it's been above zero. So. It's pretty pleasant right now, no wind. Got a gray jay right there. He was just down here at this Martin box eating some bait. And it looks like that trap is sprung with nothing in it. Let's check the other one. This one is also sprung with nothing in it. There's no tracks here. Only bird tracks. Are the birds going in the box and dragging the bait out and then not getting caught in the trap? I don't know. I'm going to reset it. Alright, didn't do uh, too great yesterday on that line. I'm out here checking probably the other half of my traps today. These ones also have been sitting for five days. Got this crate set over here that I caught that Martin in. I didn't uh, I didn't rebait it or, or set a new trap in there. In fact, I'm going to take that crate down today. But I have a Martin box back here. Trap is sprung. With nothing in it. Looks like a weasel was trying to take the bait out and the bait hit the trigger and he didn't get caught. Okay, so right up there is that blind trail set that uh, my uh, episode 3 video that wolf had stepped right before and right right after so just missed that trap but over here on this tree I've had a Martin set for for like almost a month now it's right down uh, the rivers right down there it's a pretty steep bank it's probably 15 feet straight down uh, but I see some Martin tracks going to the set Martin hanging there, just waiting for us. I was able to pack down this trail here and get my my truck back in near my tent, which is good because I'm gonna I'm actually gonna start tearing stuff down here over the next several days. I've uh, been trying to work out a plan how I'm going to tear this down and still have a place to sleep and pull all my traps and everything. So what I ended up doing is I just rented a uh, 
Airbnb in town so I can start moving stuff there and have a warm place to sleep while I'm tearing this tent down because I think it's it's frozen into the ground and stuff. It's going to be a, a process getting everything packed up and I'll slowly start pulling all my traps here as well. So the, uh, the odyssey is nearly over here in Alaska. The trapping portion, I still have a, a few more adventures planned. I'll be in the state for the whole rest of December. All right, I moved into an Airbnb in Toke yesterday. Uh, it's been super cold. It got down to 31 below, so uh, good thing I wasn't in the, uh, in the tent. So I'm going to go out today and start pulling my traps. I don't think I'll get them all uh, done today. We've only got about four, maybe four and a half hours of daylight right now. Um, and then uh, I need to start breaking down uh, these tents as well. So over the next day or two or possibly three, I should have everything here uh, cleaned up. We'll see if we got anything in the traps though. All right, just finishing up. Uh, pulling most of my traps. I probably got about two thirds of them uh, done. We're running out of daylight here and my uh, my sleigh is full. It's, uh, it's a lot of weight. I don't know. There's probably 80 traps there or something like that. So uh, it's it's cold today. It was It's warmer than it was the last couple days but it's still probably 10 or 12 below zero. It's not, it's never fun pulling traps, you know, um, but it's less fun when it's, when it's cold. Alrighty, uh, didn't, I didn't catch anything. I didn't catch a single thing. Alright, a little bit, uh, different weather today. It's, a, it's like 10 degrees above zero. It feels like springtime. Uh, turns out I got a little bit of, uh, frostbite last night, so, uh, wasn't expecting that but going out today just got two short lines reach about a mile long or less pulling the remaining traps um, maybe like 25 traps total so out here pulling the, my remaining few traps and uh, the only tracks I've seen are these uh, moose tracks those are the first moose tracks I've seen since I've been in Alaska. I did see two moose. I saw a cow and a calf across the road in front of me. I haven't seen any tracks out here uh, in the woods until now. So I'm down here on the river. I came down here like a month ago and just checked the ice thickness and uh, see if there's any beaver activity. And, and then after I did that, I saw a, uh, a lynx had walked by and kind of checked out what I was checking out. So I put a link strap here probably three weeks ago. It's really steep. I have to put a rope in just so I can get up and down. But I'm coming out to pull my my link set and it looks a little bit disturbed over there. I haven't it's not a I don't know if there's anything in there, but the ground has been disturbed. birds. Looks like uh, ravens We're down here messing around with my bait. Didn't get caught in the trap though, that's good. <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's my very last uh, snare that I need to pull. Over the past uh, two days I've been out uh, pulling my traps and snares over a hundred and I have caught exactly zero animals. Not even a fresh track, no martin track, a wolf lynx, uh, nothing. I, you know, a couple weasel tracks here and there and, uh, and those moose tracks earlier this morning. But uh, <clears throat> I didn't have a very long line, you know, a couple short ones around camp and then one I tried to extend out farther about seven, eight miles out. But uh, for this short, you know, this small area I trapped in, you know, a couple wolf, rings, wolf uh, seven marten, probably about 14 or 15 weasel, maybe a dozen muskrat. So, <clears throat> I mean, I'm definitely not disappointed. 
All that's left now is to tear down my uh, tent and pack it up. I've got a few more adventures planned here in Alaska, but they don't involve hunting or trapping. I've got my family flying into uh, Anchorage here in a few days. So we got some uh, some activities planned around the holidays. But uh, got really no more footage for you. So what I'll do now is just show a quick, uh, some highlights from the trip. So enjoy. All right, so I made it to Alaska. Just went out and got a load of firewood. That's a weasel there in the short tail weasel. Martin trap has another weasel in it. Got us uh, another weasel. We, we got a we got a weasel. We got a little tiny ermine and a giant 330 con bear. That's a nice weasel. That's a that's one of the bigger weasels. And you see what I was using for bait? Another weasel. Finally, got ourselves a Martin in one of our Martin boxes instead of uh, a weasel. That's a nice, nice big Martin. Looks like there's a, a Martin and he's still alive. He's caught right around the, he's caught right around the neck. Got us another a smaller Martin. In that box over there two days ago, I caught a Martin and still set and then this box over here crap is not there and got us another martin nice big one the storm has arrived but i also put a snare right there and i don't see the snare we got something. No way. No freaking way. We got us a nice big. God, that's a big lynx. All right, I'm checking traps with a couple of uh, guys from uh, from Anchorage, but they requested to not be on video, so I'm gonna honor that. But uh, I'm checking some traps. I see some movement up here. Look at that big old lynx. Oh my God. Beautiful. Right here, I've already got two muskrats out of here. Uh, again, just chopped the hole in, put in my little uh, number one stop loss. Anyway, I came to check it just now. And the entire side of the house is dug out. There's a very angry uh, muskrat in there. Yes, there's a beaver right here, and he's frozen. <laughs> he's frozen. Estimated weight, 175 pounds. But uh, once I chopped the ice off, it'll probably be closer to 40 pounds. No way do I have a Wolverine right there in my trap. This just made my trip right here. Looking at this lynx pen here. And it looks like there's something stuck in my 330 conifer. Something's pretty big. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? We got another Wolverine.
34, 35 days later, we got a wolf, a very beautiful wolf. I don't know if you can see him in there, he's still alive. Double lung shot. Actually, I should hit the heart from here. So when I found this trail initially, there had been like a whole pack that came through, and they went through, through, through some thick brush. So everywhere there was a trail or where it split off, I put uh, snares. This is freaking awesome. Got the trifecta. I got what I came here for. Wolverine, lynx, and wolf. Uh, a super cool thing that I found near the bottom of the hill is a grizzly bear skull. 